What is going on everybody? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game and guys at this point we are just trying not to get demoted. Unfortunately we cannot make the playoffs this year but uh, I'm trying to make it so that I never get demoted in Madden this year. That's kind of what my goal was uh, when I didn't really consider that I was going to be very good at this game. That was kind of my goal. So uh, let's get things started here on offense anyway. And right here, Mike Vick just going to throw a girl pass right at the ground for no apparent reason. Really weird there. Second play, we get tracked down trying to run up the middle with Chris Johnson. But that's all right because third down, we've got Calvin Johnson open against that cover three defense on the comeback route. And he was able to catch the pass. Now we're going to get things going here a little bit with Chris Johnson for a nice six-yard gain there. Going play action here, and we've got Franco Harris to pick up the first down. Short passing, trying just not to throw interceptions. That's really kind of my uh, my MO right now, just trying not to play poorly. And we're going to take off with Vic here, and unfortunately kind of get, I don't know, it was, like a, it was basically a sack. Brought up a fourth and six, and I decided to go for it. And the reason that I went for it is because I was at the point on the field where punting really wasn't going to be a major advantage for me. Typically, I don't go for it on my first drives, but uh, I decided to there. Now, later in the drive, third and 11, we do complete a pass, but it brings up another fourth down. Fourth and one here, and we've got Mike Ditka going over the middle for a short gain. Picks up the first down, brings up another pass here. Oh, my goodness. Got hit while I threw that. Still completed it though. Calvin Johnson with the clutch catch and then that play. He is just going to shit all over. I believe that's Eric Weddle. Just crapped all over him and we do get the touchdown there. So a uh, good drive for me on the first drive. Kind of a questionable throw at one point when uh, when he threw that uh, or when I threw that pass kind of into coverage while I got hit. But I didn't really know that I was going to be getting hit while I threw it. So um, anyway though on defense now my opponent's going to run a lot of PA end around here. Uh, here's another aspect of it here. He puts in Cam Newton a lot when he was running PA end around. So uh, he, normally he's running Tom Brady at quarterback. So it was actually kind of somewhat obvious when he was going to do it. But for some reason, he was running it out of um, formations a couple of times that I really wasn't used to seeing it run in. So uh, it, it was hard for me to really follow it. And unfortunately here, he is going to get into the end zone with Franco Harris. He was pretty effective on that first drive. I was a little bit worried at the fact that I couldn't shut down his PA end around. Normally, I don't have a huge problem with it so uh, it was a little bit irritating but the second drive here on offense for my team we're gonna move the football in this one guys for sure we're gonna find Calvin Johnson over the middle and unfortunately I stepped out of bounds there for some reason the momentum for me has been uh, it's been hard to control lately I, I don't know what the deal is when I'm throwing it like those routes that are you know five yards from the sidelines I almost always step out of bounds now watch this here his Franco Harris scored on the last drive mine is gonna get into the end zone here Two Franco Harris touchdowns, one for each of us. Feeling good about that one, though. Franco made a great play. Now he's going to throw this one up here into double coverage. Gotcha, bitch. Patrick Peterson, the positional set Pat Pete, comes up with a pick. Beautiful interception there. Throwing it up into double coverage. Tried to hit Mike Evans right before the end of the half. Wasn't able to do it. So we did get out of the half with a seven-point lead. But my opponent is going to get the ball first coming out of the half because he did end up kicking off to start this football game. And he's running right down the field. I believe that was like the Barry Sanders that you got to use for a couple of days when uh, for like a rookie legend card or something like that that he was using. But he also had a really good Marshawn Lynch card. I don't think it was the ultimate legend, but I think it was the 97 Marshawn Lynch. So he had a couple pretty good running backs. And then he was also, like I said, switching between Cam Newton and Tom Brady. Now, right here, oh, man, I wish I could have switched into Antonio Cromartie there because I probably could have picked that one off, but the PA end around worked to perfection for him there. Ugh, he just kept on hitting me with that, man. I just, uh, normally I don't, like I said, I don't have much of a problem covering it. It's just uh, he was moving the ball effectively by not running that play as well. So it was, uh, it was kind of difficult. And right here, a beautiful juke by Darren Sproles on the PA end around. Deserves to get that touchdown. Can't deny it. Uh, nice, nice play by him there. But I'm going to continue to move the ball on offense myself. We're tied up in this one 14 to 14. We've mostly scored on every drive at this point. He, the only one where we didn't score was at the end of the first half when uh, he threw up that Hail Mary and Pat Pete came up with the interception. Now, continuing to move the ball here. That was against zone defense there. Alshon Jeffrey got wide open. And now we're going to continue to move the football here through the air with Mike Ditka. Another pass here. This one was into coverage. I can't even lie. Mike Vick got a great pass off there on third and seven, and we were able to complete it. I was, uh, I was a little bit worried when I saw his users there, but he ended up running into his own player, and we ended up picking up the first down there. Now third and two, a huge conversion here. Let's us run out a bunch of clock, 
Now it's second and 10 here. Jeremy Hill running up the middle, bringing up a third down and long here. Third and seven. And again, we're going to go back to that, that post route to Calvin Johnson. He gets into the end zone one more time. Now it's 21 to 14. And we're going to play some defense here on this drive. Well, a little bit. We're going to start off playing some pretty good defense. Beautiful tackle there by Jack Ham. And now he's going to run that PA end around again. He, I kind of played it well there, but unfortunately, he just took off with Cam Newton, and there wasn't much that I could do there. And again, he's just going to continue to run the PA end around here. This time, we kind of threw him off, and he ended up taking a sack because I actually covered two guys there with my user. But unfortunately, the very next play, second and 18, he hits Cole Beasley going over the middle on that slant pattern. Again, just basically the same play over and over and over again. The problem, right? PA end around cheese. Difficult to defend. It really is. Um, I mean, if against somebody that's good, it's pretty difficult to defend because you kind of have to use your multiple things. So, uh, yeah, anyway, he's doing a good job here of moving down the field, runs the football here with Barry Sanders, and now he's going to go with another PA end around. You can just tell by the settings that he had. And I take Antonio Cromartie and put him in man coverage, and he says, gotcha, bitch, gets the interception Finally, we come up with a pick. It is Antonio Cromartie with an amazing play to seal this game for us. We are going to walk away without being demoted this season. So feeling good about that, at least. The game could have gone better for us uh, if we played a little bit better on defense against that PA end around. But I know typically what I have to do to defend it. I just, for some reason, was a little bit thrown off in this one. I just wasn't playing my best. But we still ended up coming up with the win here. Really didn't have much of a problem scoring myself on offense. It was just kind of uh, playing some defense. Was, it was a little bit difficult. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the support and everything like that. Really hope you enjoyed the video. On to the next season. Let's try and get into the playoffs next year, guys. Thank you again, and we'll see you again for next season. Bye-bye.